we buy houses. Damn, we should have grabbed the key for the garage. Probably do a little bit better with Section 8. I love Section 8 in this neighborhood. Like I said, with all those houses we have on Burwald, uh, I think like a good like 60 to 70% of those tenants are Section 8 tenants, right? Uh, so to get it, not only rent ready, not only Section 8 ready, you also have to go through the lead certification process. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. What's up, Cleveland investors? I got another one for you guys, right? Kind of a bird deal here, okay? This one, 4708 Burwald. This is a solid single uh, in a pretty solid neighborhood, Old Brooklyn, right? This is actually uh, the area uh, of all of Holton Wise's management that we uh, have the highest density of rental properties, this little area, right? Like the street Burwald itself. I think we got like <laughs> like 15 houses or something like that uh, just on that street, right? And this one's pretty gnarly, okay? It's been in the portfolio. Uh, oh, I don't know. We've probably been managing this property uh, many years. We had, uh, I think, like maybe two tenants total though, right? Two long-term tenants. Last tenant that was in there, they were in there for uh, several years. Uh, but this tenant was placed in there prior to uh, the lead certification laws, the new lead certification laws, right? So uh, this property, folks, you're going to have to do a turnover, but it's going to be like a bigger turnover than you would anticipate because not only do you have to get it completely rent ready again for the new tenant, get it, you know, Section 8 ready to rock and roll, right? Because you want to have the option to go Section 8 or cash paying tenants in this neighborhood. My opinion, you'll probably do a little bit better with Section 8. I love Section 8 in this neighborhood. Like I said, with all those houses we have on Burwald, uh, I think like a good like 60 to 70 percent of those tenants are Section 8 tenants, right? Uh, so to get it, not only rent ready, not only Section 8 ready, you also have to go through the lead certification process, right? So holding wise, we've done uh, the the bid for you, right? We've gone ahead and given you guys the bid to get it completely rent ready and uh, completely lead certified, right? So my guys are going to put that on the screen here momentarily, right? Uh, so with the two complete bid, you know, the two separate bids, you know, the complete total is going to be uh, in the neighborhood of 30K uh, if you're including premium upgrades. Now, you don't necessarily need to include the premium premium upgrades every single time, uh, that is your, you know, your choice, right? If you want to keep your costs down, you don't have to spend that much money. Uh, you can see on the bids there that the actual cost uh, without the premium upgrades is going to be a little bit less. But if you do go with the premium upgrades, folks, I find uh, you'll do the very best uh, in regards to getting yourself long-term tenants, right? Like you want to be the landlord that's got a property uh, and over the course of 10 years, you've only had like two tenants, right? That is where you really want to be, okay? Uh, if you're turning your tenants over every couple years, folks, that, that, that's not good, right? That What, what that's going to do is it's just going to cost you money in the long haul, right? All, all the turnovers. Now, of course, the turnovers aren't going to be big whoppers like this one uh, because you have to do the lead certification. Now, just so you know, though, you do have to do the lead certification every two years, uh, but this is the first time it's ever going to be lead certified, right? And the property is like, you know, 100-something years old, uh, over 100 years old here. So uh, the every two-year lead certifications are going to be no big deal, uh, but you're still going to have turnover costs every time you get a new tenant. And, and your job as a landlord, if you're trying to be a profitable landlord, is to reduce the amount of time you have to turn units over, right? You want to, you know, you want to turn your units over as few and far between as humanly possible, right? That's how you're going to make the most money. So uh, with that said, that's why I lean towards going with the premium upgrade, spending a little bit more money up front to get the house completely as nice and beautiful and turnkey as you possibly can. Not necessarily uh, because it's going to get you more rent. Uh, it's more so to make tenants really happy to be living in your house and not want to move, right? Because the more often they move, the more money you're going to lose, right? So with all that said, though, solid deal, uh, and it's pretty hard uh, to find something that after you do that renovation, get it lead certified, would be uh, rocking and rolling uh, at much better than the 1% roll, right? So it's kind of like a little bird deal action, right? There might be a little bit of equity in there, maybe, if I had to guesstimate, maybe like ten, ten, fifteen thousand $15,000 worth of equity, right? And you're, you're well beyond the 1% roll, right? The 1% roll 
you know, that would dictate we got to rent this thing for like what nine fifty. But in reality, we're getting easily a buck and a quarter more than that, especially if you get those premium upgrades, right? So uh, that is my opinion in how you should do the deal. But of course, it is completely up to you how you want to do the deal. You could have Holton Wise go in, do all those renovations for you, continue managing it, or you could do them on your own. You can get other contractors uh, to do them for you. It's completely up to you. The house is, of course, totally vacant, so uh, you don't even have to take our bid, right? You don't have to worry about our bid. If you want to have other contractors go on the property and bid it for you, you can do that as well, right? So if you want to get inside this property, shoot my team an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. If you've seen enough, you're ready to move forward with an offer, shoot the offer to my team, sales at holtonweiss.com. If you want to finance it, that's totally fine. Use uh, a pre-approval letter with your offer, right? So be like, yo, I want to buy 4708 Burwald. I want to finance it. Here is my lender. Here's their pre-approval and uh, we will field your offer. Or likewise, if you want to pay cash, just shoot us a screenshot showing us you have at least 65K in the bank. Let's go. We buy houses. Damn, we should have grabbed the key for the garage. Oh well. Boom. Boom. Good. Yeah. I think I might do the basement last. It always is a good thing to like finish with, you know? Yeah. No appliances. Dishwasher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. There's a 220 plug on. Boom. There's the rest of the dining room. Swing upstairs real quick. Yep, I remember when they had fucking shelving in there. The tenants did? No, it fucking, there was like built in shelving in that wall. Oh. I just took it out of the turnover. I don't remember that. I do like how these people had rose petals. Yeah, literally like, everywhere. Like, what the fuck were you doing? <laughs> Didn't you go on Valentine's Day? Well, I saw it like a long ass time ago when we were first doing lead and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's cool, whatever. And then I thought, like, you know, we'll probably clean that up, right? You would think. <laughs> you would not. You would be surprised. It'd be worth showing the basement just for that. See a little, you know, extra shitter. All right, go this way. So I get the. Oh, we're on the back side. Well, I'll get the wide angles of these, and then we'll go to the other side. In front and of the hot water tank, at least. Yeah. New gas valve. Boop, 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 boop. Watch your head. Yeah, I didn't build this with tall people in mind. Nah, tall people didn't exist back in the day. I don't know where those freaks came from. <laughs> started showing up in like the 70s. They all started playing basketball. I'm like, what? Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.